Hi students, uh, today I have another multi-sim tutorial for you. What we're going to do is we're going to create an op-amp circuit that is going to take in a voltage source and multiply it by two. So we want our gain to be two for this circuit. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over to this analog symbol. So it's the fifth one down on the left menu and um, grab the five terminal op-amp. The reason why I like to pick this one is because then we can control the turn on voltage, that plus and minus VCC. Um, and remember that is kind of the limiter of our output voltage is what our turn on voltage is. So um, I'll show you how that works later, but let's go ahead and um, hook up our DC voltage sources to plus and minus VCC first, which is basically like attaching this to a battery to turn it on. So if you go over here to sources, we're gonna wanna grab a DC source We'll need two of them, um, and let me show you how these get turned on. So the plus VC is at the top, so we see that indicated by this little plus right here. Not the plus on the non-inverting input on the left side, but this plus up on the top. So what we want to do is we want to attach the positive side of a DC voltage source to that um, positive VCC terminal. But when we drop the voltage source, it drops in this um, kind of upwards orientation where the longer bar of the DC source is on top and the shorter bar is on the bottom. So this indicates that the negative side is here and the positive side is here. So if we want to attach the positive side to this terminal of the op amp, we actually want to rotate this. So you just click this rotate button twice. And now you see this longer bar here is facing down towards the positive side. So now I'm ready to connect. I'm just gonna left click on here. There's that red siren that appears to let you know that's made a solid connection. And now I have inputted um, a positive five volts to my plus VCC. Let me go ahead and change this to 15. So I'm just gonna duh, click on this, or you can double click on it and then double click on this um, value here and you can type in the one that you want. So this is my plus VCC. Now I wanna um, hook up my minus VCC. So I go over back over here to sources. I'm gonna grab another DC voltage source and I'm gonna put it down here next to the negative terminal. Um, let's see. So when I do that, again, it drops in this sort of upwards orientation. So if we want to hook up the negative side of this voltage source here, we can do the same thing. We can rotate it twice. And now see the shorter horizontal bar is next to this negative VCC terminal. And now I can connect these. So there's actually two ways to do that. You can um, rotate this so that the DC source is sort of upside down. The other thing you can do if you wanna keep this in an up orientation like this, is when you go to set this value, you can put in a negative 15 instead of a positive 15 and that will work too. Um, so I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna give that a positive 15 and I'm gonna rotate this so it's upside down because this is kind of more in line of how you would actually build a circuit like on a breadboard. So now I'm ready to connect these. And um, the other thing I need to remember to do is I need to connect this other side of the source and this other side of the source both to ground. So um, why don't I go ahead and make my ground line. So my ground is gonna be connected to the inverting input terminal of my op amp. And first I'm gonna have a resistor. So I'm gonna grab a resistor from the menu um, left click here and I'm going to connect this to the inverting terminal of the op amp and now I'm going to bring this down and I'll connect this to the underside of this source and there's that and then um, let me go ahead and pull out a wire here so that I can connect the other side of this source as well. So to do that, if you go over here to schematic connectors, you can grab a junction. So if I grab a junction and I pull it like way out over here, then I can make this nice big long wire and I have all this space to work with um, for attaching the other side of this VCC source down to my ground wire. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna pull this up just for aesthetics. So now I have, um, this bottom wire is gonna be my ground node. I can go ahead and put a ground 
for my schematic connectors here. So now I've designated this as my zero volts and I've connected my plus VCC, the other side of it, to ground, and I've connected my minus VCC, the positive side of this one, to ground. And I've also connected ground through a resistor to the inverting input to my op amp. Okay, great. So now let's, um, I'm gonna do a input voltage source. So I'm going to grab a DC voltage source. We're going to later connect AC sources to our op amp, but we'll talk about that later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just connect this input voltage source directly to my non-inverting input to the op amp. So we know that um, whatever sign of this input voltage is, is going to be the same sign as the output voltage since the input source is going to the non-inverting input. So now I also have to ground this, so I'll just attach this to this wire here. So now the bottom side of my source is connected to ground. And then um, the other thing I'm going to need is almost all op amp circuits have a negative feedback loop. So somewhere along this wire here, I'm going to have to connect this negative input to my output. So before I do that, let's grab another wire so we can pull this out so we have some room to make a feedback loop. So let's go back to schematic connectors and grab a junction. I'm going to um, make basically output terminals here. So just cl um, click on that to make a dot and I'm going to connect that to the output of my op amp. And now um, I have room to make my feedback loop between this wire and this wire. So I'm going to have a feedback resistor in between, so let me just put that here. I'm going to connect one end of my feedback resistor to my output wire, and then the other end of my feedback resistor to the input. And remember this has to go to the negative input, so that inverting input over here. Now um, the next thing that I have to do is um, I'm pretty much ready to run the simulation, but I'm not going to be able to view my output unless I put um, some kind of a meter here um, for V out. So let's grab a voltmeter. That's that top um, icon here with the green V. So I'm going to grab the green V. I'm going to attach it to the top here. And remember, you need a reference probe. And so click on this V minus, and that's going to give you a reference probe. I can just put it down here on the bottom. So now you know that between these two probes here, this is going to measure our V out. And because this is set to 1K ohms and this is set to 1K ohms, um, our gain is just going to be 1 plus this ratio, 1 over 1. So our gain we want to be 2. If I give an input voltage of 5 volts, I would expect that the output is going to be 5 times 2 or 10. So we're going to expect an output of 10 volts over here. So let's try it. We can run our simulation. We just press play over here and then we can stop it. And as you can see, our output voltage is very, very close to 10. Okay, so um, I mentioned before that our plus and minus VCC are what's going to limit our output. So let me show you what happens if we give this an input voltage that when doubled is going to exceed this um, turn on voltage. So suppose instead of 10, let's change this to eight. So if, we, if our op amp circuit here is going to double our input, if our input is 8, we would expect our output to be 16. But our VCC voltages are only 15, so this is going to exceed our VCC. So let's look at what happens. If I press play here and it simulates this circuit, if I stop it, um, you'll see that I'm kind of capped at about 15. So even though um, the gain of this circuit should be two, we would expect our output to be eight times two, which is 16. We're capped at 15 because of this input voltage here, these 15 volts. So what if instead I change um, our, imp our VCCs to maybe 20? So I'll let that be 20. I'll change this to 20 as well. Now, when I double my input 8 volts, I would expect to see a 16 here. I should be fine because I'm no longer limited by 15. I have, I can go all the way up to 20 on my output. So let's press play here 
and just verify that if I stop it, I can see indeed that now my output is very, very close to 16, which is what I expected. So um, here's how to make a very simple op amp. So you guys as the engineers will decide what the what these resistors will be. So your gain is going to be dependent on what values of the feedback resistor and whatever input resistors you have. Um, and so let me know if you have questions of creating a non-inverting op amp circuit like this and we'll be able to do um, the lab activity.